welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome so for today's video i thought i would sit down and just share with you guys all of the stuff i used to film my filming kind of setup i feel like this is very confusing especially if you're just starting out on youtube there's so many different cameras lenses lights backdrops you can buy and i get asked a lot about the equipment that i use i know this is not going to be a video for everyone but i thought if i could help at least one person it would be worth it. I'm just gonna make this a short and sweet video, let you guys know the microphone, camera, lights, and everything I use. If you have other questions, you can leave them in a comment down below. If you wanna see how I get my videos to look and sound like this, then just keep watching. Okay, so let's talk about the camera I use to film my sit-down videos. I have been using the Canon 80D for a little bit over a year now. I think they have a 90D now, they had a 70D. It's a good camera. However, I really don't think that it is as important as the lens that you buy. I use the Sigma 1.8 18 to 35 milliliter, milliliter, millimeter lens with an f-stop of 1.8. Honestly, when it comes to aperture f-stop and all that jazz, I really don't know what it means, but I know that the lower the f-stop, that's when you can get the blurry background. So if I get really close, I could make my entire background blurry. This lens was very expensive. It was almost as expensive as the camera. A lot of the times your lens is going to be even more expensive than your camera. Um, and that is really where the magic happens. That's where you're gonna see a big difference in the quality of your videos. So I really like this one. It's not as expensive as some of the other ones on the market, but this combination, the 80D and the Sigma F 1.8 18 to 35 millimeter lens is a great combination. Sometimes you can buy the camera like without the kit lens and it'll be a little bit cheaper Or if you're just starting out you can use the kit lens I used it for a long time and it was great also Another camera that I liked was the Rebel T5i I used that for a long time In my opinion, I prefer the Canon 80D. However, please don't think that you have to get fancy equipment. You can use your iPhone. The camera on your iPhone is really, really good. My cousin filmed a few YouTube videos with just his iPhone and the quality was amazing. And for a really long time, I was just using my Canon G7X Mark II as my main camera. As you progress, you can buy better equipment, but you really don't have to start out with the best of the best. For me, along with the lens, the next most important thing is lighting. Lighting will be your best friend. I use a ton of lighting, but I don't use those crazy expensive lights that a lot of YouTubers use. I buy all my lighting on Amazon. I have two of these lights right here. I literally have one right here to light up the background. You don't just wanna light up yourself, you also wanna light up your background. So I have two of those lighting on my background. And then I have this light. I actually bought a backup, the Young Gnuo YN303 Pro LED video light. I actually also have the bigger one, but I prefer 300. I think it's the YN600 that I bought and I prefer the YN300. I have this sitting on top of my camera and this shoots directly at me and it really lights me up and honestly if you want to start out with any light i would recommend starting out with this one i know carly bible only uses this one light that's who i found it from ring lights are also really good they are now super affordable on amazon i think they're even like they have a few for under a hundred dollars those are really good you can use them in place of this light on top but i like this light on top of the camera because it's simply so easy i've personally tested a bunch of different lights i've tested the soft boxes the ring lights and the combination of these lights is what I find works the best. But again, if you're just starting out, you can place yourself in front of a window. Natural light is amazing also. The next thing I want to talk about is your microphone. A microphone is super, super important. And I personally use the Rode Video Mic Pro. This is a microphone that's supposed to sit on top of your camera. However, I personally have it on a little mic boom situation, which allows it to be a lot closer to me. And then in turn, the audio is a lot better. In order to have it closer to me, I had to buy a boom mic stand, a longer wire to connect the microphone to the camera, and then an adapter to attach the microphone to the boom stand, which I will also leave linked down below. What I really like about this mic is that it plugs right into your camera, so it records the audio as you're speaking. You don't need to sync the audio. You don't need to record it on a little micro SD card. Like It gets recorded right with your video clip, so it makes it super, super easy to edit, which is super important 
important to me because I don't need to start clapping and recording audio on different things. I'm all about things being easy. So when I'm filming, this is what you guys see, but this is what my room actually looks like. It's honestly normally a little bit more messy than this. I cleaned it up for you guys, but I'm gonna go through and tell you guys exactly the setup and what each thing does. So I'm gonna turn all the lights on now and you'll see the difference. Okay, so now all my lights are on. You can see how much better lit it is. And this is all of the lighting that I use. Everything I got was purchased on Amazon. So first I wanna talk about these. These are the newer lights. These are like one of my favorite. They're super affordable. They come in a pack of two. And these I use to light up my background. So I have one here and then I have one there. They're small, they're compact. You can put them anywhere. You can also adjust the tone of them a little bit more cool or you could make them only warm my background is already lit up so that adds a lot of light to the back of my videos i also have my chandelier on so this is my camera like i said the canon 80 D. I don't use this as my monitor because it is too small to see what's going on and then this is my favorite light so you can completely dim it it is amazing. When you order this, it doesn't come with a wire, so make sure you order one to go with it. This is the lens, the Sigma 1 f1.8. This tripod I bought on Amazon as well. Any old tripod will do. Don't worry, I don't turn the heat on, so that's why I put the wires on there. I don't ever turn that on. Okay, so then I just have like a little TV dinner tray and I put my laptop on it because I use my laptop as my camera monitor. I just use the Canon app. It's really good because you can adjust like the aperture, the exposure, and everything from that instead of having to adjust it on your camera. So that is my favorite part about that. To get that to work, all I did was get a micro USB wire and attach it to my camera right over here. Next, I have my wire to connect my microphone, which is all the way right above my head to my camera so that the audio all syncs up. This is an Amazon Basics wire, and I got it because the wire that comes with the microphone is really small because this is actually supposed to sit on top of your camera. And then I also had to get this extra little adapter to turn it in from like a horseshoe, whatever this is, to fit on the boom mic so you're going to want to get extra batteries because if you're filming for a long time you're going to run out of batteries so this is for my vlogging camera they have really good ones on amazon for your dslr look how bright it, it's so bright sitting here but for, for your dslr the battery on this is pretty good but you do always want to have extras and this is just a little tripod I use when I'm vlogging sometimes if the lighting isn't good. Okay, and then over here, this I'm just using because I have it, but you don't have to use this. Like, honestly, it doesn't really make that big of a difference. This is really dusty. I haven't used it in a long time, but this is what I'm talking about. You can mount your camera right in the middle of your ring light. You can mount it right there as well, just on this little mount. And then you can just stick your camera right in there and then you don't need a tripod as well. So this is just what I see when I'm filming. Like I said, I've used a ton of lights and these are just what works the best. So because this is my actual closet where I get ready and I, you know, work, I put all of this away after I'm done filming. That's why I like filming a few videos at the same time. I'll show you guys once it's all done and put away. Another tip is that I have this um, extension cord thing where it turns off all my lights at the same time and turns them all on at the same time. So I'm gonna put it all away and show you guys what it looks like when I don't have everything out. So that took me about one minute. I leave everything kind of up and just in the corner, but if I wanted to, I can make it very compact and you wouldn't even see it like hiding behind this shelving thing. But because I don't want it to take so long to put down and take up, I leave everything just off in this corner and then everything is back to normal. Next, I wanna talk about vlogging cameras. I've tried a ton. My favorite and the one I recommend the most is still the Canon G7X. I have the Sony ZV-1, which I do like. However, I always find myself coming back to the Canon G7X. There's just something about it that I love that, it's such a good camera. It is so good. I've had this one 
for years and years and years and I'm, I don't know why everyone says that there's breaks all the time but I, mine's still going strong the next thing I want to talk about is editing so to edit my videos I always edit on Final Cut Pro I was editing on iMovie for a long time but if you want to take your video quality to the next level you need to switch out of iMovie iMovie is good for very basic editing but when you want to get into color correction adding a lot of different details and aspects to your videos you need to switch to a more sophisticated video editing software so I use Final Cut Pro there's like Premiere something which i tried using and it was so confusing final cut is relatively easy i find there are so many videos online that you can find on how to do it and i personally like it the best for color correction whenever you're watching movies really good cinematic videos there will always be color correction and that is something that a lot of people don't talk about a lot of times people think that their video looks so good because of the camera or lens that they're using a lot of times it's actually because they're color correcting post-production so they are fixing the hues of the video they're making skin tones look a little bit warmer they're increasing the contrast and if i didn't color correct this video at all it would look like this. Now I already have my camera's white balance set to be a little bit warmer. That's just the kind of videos that I like filming, I like watching. But a lot of times, especially if you're filming something like for makeup videos, the camera won't be able to pick up the actual color of the product. So you'll go in afterwards and make it look really natural and how it actually looks in real life. Because oftentimes like, your video footage will not look how it looks in real life and it can be quite frustrating, especially if you don't know about color correction. So color correction is super, super, super important. And lastly, I quickly wanna talk about backdrops. Obviously, I film in front of my closet, but you have to decide where you wanna film. Do you wanna film with your room as the background? Maybe you're gonna set up a backdrop. I personally enjoy backdrops that are like more natural, like a backdrop like this, or if you have objects in the background, but you can also set it up where you have fabric and like a solid color behind you i will leave a video link down below on that because i don't have too much experience on that you can use paper you can use fabric but that's not my personal preference i prefer to see like actual things in the back i hope this was a little bit helpful for you i just wanted to make this short and quick and tell you guys exactly the things i use and the things i like using and the things that i have found along the way a lot of people use really expensive things to make their videos look amazing but there are really good affordable options out there for you that i have found and i use and i adore so i hope this was helpful for you guys as usual everything will be linked down below don't forget to subscribe for new videos every single week i love you and i'll see you guys back here next time